Hello everyone and welcome to my final project which is a documentary on London disasters. I hope you enjoy it. First topic I'm going to talk about is the World War II and I'll focus on a small town in Wolfenstar. This was the main locations for bombs dropped in Wolfhamstall. Back, back when World War II started, all these houses and buildings were destroyed. Nothing remained. The V1 bombs had demolished the whole street. This cinema was the main storage facility for corpses in World War II. As you can see, it is quite big, so lots of bodies were stored here. Some were incinerated by bombs, but the, the corpses that remained were stored here to make space for other people that survived. I focus on a small road called Poro Road. As you can see, many houses on the left hand side are newer than the ones on the right. And if you see on the right hand side the garage, that, well that wasn't there in World War II. During World War II, the V1 bombs had destroyed the whole of Hull Street. Well, Wolfhamstall was the biggest target of bombs, and Hull Street was the main target of all these bombs dropped. As you can see, the V1 bombs had destroyed and demolished all the houses and buildings as people had searched for all the belongings that they could find. Between 1940 and 1941, these bombs had demolished everything and caused so much destruction and devastation to Hull Street. As you can see, loads of buildings were destroyed, buildings, houses, local roads were demolished and people were stuck in sorrow and they were weeping for all the people that were lost and people they could not find. Despite all the destruction and events that occurred, people had come together and rejoiced, searching for one another's belongings, trying to find other people, finding other places to stay, shelter, food, and even gathered all the homeless people and protected them against the bombs and treated one another with respect and hospitality. The fourth topic I focus on is a 7-7 bombing. The 7-7 attacks have begun by the detonations of many bombs in stations. This was one of the stations used in the attack. Number 30 bus was involved in this incident where a bomber sat on the bus and detonated one of the bombs. Lo loads of trains were involved in this incident as three other people had demolished bombs. A memorial was set up to honor all those people that passed away. And these were all the victims during the attack. All the attackers during the attack. As you can see, there are four. The last topic I focus on is the Westminster attack of 2017. Recently there had been a terror attack on this ferry bridge where a person had driven his car on the bridge killing 50 people. And four of them fatally injured because of one man who deliberately drove his car onto the bridge. A terror attack was unleashed on the House of Parliament where a person had driven his car onto the bridge killing multiple people and resulted in loads of deaths along the whole of the bridge which was just named as a terror attack but people reacted saying we are not afraid and the perpetrator who done this was Khalid Massoud, a black male. When Khalid Massoud stabbed the officer, many people drew their attention to the injured officer and attended to him. Some stayed to help the person or try to save the officer who got stabbed and took him to hospital. London was subjected to some many devastating events during its history, but however, however, despite all of this, people came together and overcame their fear.